Hello there, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys a little bit of a day in the life of things that I just normally do every day as a reseller. So I have kind of planned out my day today, uh, but first things first is I need to get my orders packed so I can ship them. So I have everything already um, kind of done uh, spreadsheet wise, uh, the numbers wise that is all done. Um, but now I have to pull the inventory and actually get them packaged to ship. So let's go ahead and do that. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected and I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page tonight? Can we stay? And why don't you talk to me? Talk to me. Let's start a conversation. Why you spend your time with me? You speak in my love language. Talk to me. Talk to me. We don't need a translation. Why you spend your time with me? You speak. Okay, so it is just a little bit before 9 a.m. and I'm gonna start heading off to the Goodwill bins. Um, normally before I go, I do go take my packages. However, a few, two, I think two of the orders that I packaged up this morning actually only were purchased around 7 a.m. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm finished at the bins so I can have the three, that like full three hours that a buyer has to cancel. Make sure those are like passed before I ship them off. Um, otherwise, I pretty much just go to the bins with my little like crossbody purse and some water. I don't always bring my water in um, just because there is a lot of like theft at my bins. You have to make sure that you're always like covering your cart and um, making sure that like nothing is like viewable from other people because people I have seen people take stuff out of my own cart and had to be like, mm, please put that back. So yeah love that but let's go ahead and get over there so i'm not late and i will check in when i am finished okie dokie i am back it's been about two hours um honestly i didn't really find anything amazing um but probably my favorite thing that i found is this vera bradley like big tote bag i actually don't normally pick up vera bradley uh but this one's honestly like brand new like it doesn't show any wear on it at all um and it's like one of those really big large ones so this is exciting i was kind of happy to find that um i also found a couple like kind of like more style pieces like i found this skirt it's like a free size skirt uh, but it's like all this like patchwork and then it's like a drawstring waist this is pretty cool it's actually very like a cooling material so very interesting um and a couple other things but nothing really like crazy like to make me excited um but i think what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna start heading home i'm probably gonna actually stop for coffee on the way home and then i also have these packages that i have to drop off but i think I think that's our Goodwill stop for today. So not a great stop, but not every stop is a great stop. So hopefully next time we will have some more luck. Okie dokie, so I have my coffee. I just went to Dutch Bros, uh, but now I'm gonna run inside and get all of these packages uh, into the post office. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, so I am home now. I just got home. So I think I'm gonna bring all of this. Wow, can you stop beeping? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna bring all of this inside. I have my coffee, I have my things. I have sent off my packages. So now it is time to get the day started. It, it's 12.15 right now. I definitely didn't spend as long at the bins as I normally do. Uh, I normally only leave by like 1.30, 2 o'clock at the latest, maybe like 2.30. Um, but honestly, I think I said this earlier, my bins is just like not been great lately. So I don't know if I need to maybe go downtown to the other location or I'm not really sure what the deal is, but uh, for now I'm kind of just, um, 
taking what I can get. <laughs> so, but I'm excited about this Vera Bradley bag, even if I just like keep it for myself. I think that was a cool find. Um, otherwise, um, let's head inside. I might take a little bit of a break, drink my coffee, uh, drink some water. It is so hot outside, um, but otherwise, I will see you inside in just a minute. Hello, Okay, so it has been uh, just a couple minutes since I came inside. I am back upstairs at my selling room, and now it's time to get everything inventoried. Uh, pretty much as soon as I come home, I number one, I put all my rings back on. I always take my rings off when I go to the bins because if they get lost, I will never ever see them again. So the rings go back on and then I can start inventorying all of my items. Essentially what I do is I just take every item and just write the name, the brand, the color, anything else like interesting about it um, into my spreadsheet just so it is documented and you know, I can start tracking it as it goes through the like inventory process, I guess. So um, I, have, I have actually had uh, quite a few questions in the past couple months about my spreadsheet, what spreadsheet I use, like, can I show this and this and this about my spreadsheet? Um, so I do use the spreadsheet from Mogi Beth. I did purchase it from her probably about a year ago, maybe just over a year ago. Um, I really love it. It's probably like one of my favorite things about my reselling business, it's how I keep track of all of my numbers, literally down to the penny. I have all of my numbers sorted out. But because that is a product that she created and currently sells, I'm not going to like, you know, show my screen with a spreadsheet on it because I feel like that would really like undermine all the hard work that she's put into like developing this product and like selling this product if I just like, oh, like here it is blasted across the screen. Um, but you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain a little bit without like really showing the spreadsheet, but essentially, um, what I do. So like for this, um, like a one size skirt that I bought, it's so cute. I love it so much, but I would really just go in and say like the first, the first thing would be the brand. So this is an SIS. The brand is really not that important to me for this specific skirt. I really bought this because of style, but it's SIS collection uh it's a one size and i would say it's a pink flowy patchwork skirt and that would be this first line so then i would move on to the second um the second one would be this pair of shorts this was also more of like a style pickup and not necessarily a brand pickup um, but I would go, the brand is Judith Merch. It's a, how would I say this? Like embroidered, colorful shorts. Size large. So, and if I eventually like I go through and I say, hey, this has a very specific style name, I will go back in and change that style name when it goes into the inventory system. Uh, otherwise, I just need to get it in there so um, I can start allocating a cost of goods to that. Um, so I would basically go through, make sure everything's in the spreadsheet. And once that's done, what I'll do is I'll take the total amount that I spent and divide it by how many items I purchased or how many items that I purchased to sell. Uh, sometimes there are items that I purchased uh, in like the Goodwill Bins uh, trip that I'm not really intending to sell or not intending to sell right away. One of them would probably be this super cute, very Bradley bag. I think I showed this in the car. Um, I'm probably actually gonna hold on to this for a little bit. I have some vacations coming up and this would be a really cute bag to take along with me. Um, so for now, I'm not gonna put it in my spreadsheet. I'll just reallocate, I guess, probably about a dollar. I would reallocate that dollar that I spent on it among the other items that I bought in the trip. So, you know, maybe everything would be a dollar and 10 cents versus a dollar, you know, that makes sense. Um, but then I can kind of justify that um, I can keep this, right? I don't know if that makes great sense, but essentially, 
All I do is of all the items that I purchased to resell that are end up going into my Poshmark closet, um, I allocate the, I take the total cost and divide it between all the items that I am intending to sell. So if I'm, and if I'm planning on keeping anything, I just kind of uh, leave that out of the equation. So I think some people have like different thoughts about that, but that's just what I do. That's how it works for me. Uh, so I'm going to go through really quickly and get everything into the spreadsheets and then I will be back in a minute. I've been feeling neglected and I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page tonight? Can we stay here? Why don't you talk to me? Talk to me. Let's start a conversation. Okay, so I had to run downstairs and go grab my receipt. Um, essentially, what I do now with this receipt is I, and I don't think you have to do this, I just try to like do it as like good business practices, I guess. Um, but I have um, in my spreadsheet, I actually created a new folder or like a new tab called expenses. So, why well, am I out of breath? Oh my gosh, I ran downstairs and ran back upstairs. <laughs> Um, so basically I say, what is the date today? Oh, beans! That was a little head hitting the table. Okay, today is 7, today is the 26th, 27th, 2022. I went to the bins and I spent a grand total of $12.90. Beautiful. And then just a little bit further along that column, I say how many miles I drove to get there and back. 26 miles round trip. That gives me a $15.21. Actually, I think they might have actually changed the 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 like tax write-off for miles driven. That's a good question. But I just make sure that's all inventoried, but I might have to double check what the rate is now. But and then what I do is when I'm finished filming on my phone, I make sure that I take a photo of this receipt. I actually have a folder in my phone specifically for like things that I spend on with my business. Um, and then that receipt will go in here. Uh, because I'm taking a photo of it, I don't really have to keep the paper copy, but I think it's always good to keep the paper copy. I feel like there maybe is a point where you may need it for something. So it'll just go in there once I take a photo of it. Um, and that just stays there. Yeah, but other than that, uh, these items are kind of ready to be photographed if they're ready to be photographed. Um, I don't think anything here needs washing or de-staining. I really try not to buy anything that needs any of that. I'm sorry, this thing's like taking half the screen up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get busy um, kind of looking everything over and I'm going to take a photo of this receipt so I can put it away. Yeah, so busy morning so far. I think that for the rest of the day, I am just gonna do some listings. I might not do any photographing today. Um, I have quite a few things here that are ready to be listed, so I may catch up on those items. Um, I might do a little bit of research on the items that I purchased just to see kind of what, um, what I really think they will go for. I try and look up comps when I'm in the store before I buy anything, but like stuff like this Starbucks mug, honestly, I could not find it. So I ended up just getting it because it's really not that heavy, but I'll do some comp checks on this guy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna um, keep working. All right, so I currently have some items drafted here that I am going to get listed. I essentially have them all sitting in this kind of like a laundry hamper next to me. And then I measure them here and uh, kind of get them listed right here. And once they are listed, they will join this pile of clothing that is ready to be put into the cellophane bags and into the lovely inventory system. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. Alrighty, so um, it's a little bit later. I think it's actually 2.30 right now. Um, woo. <laughs> uh, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm just putting some washing on. I changed my clothes because I'm just doing some washing for uh, everything that I need to take on vacation with me. So that's what I'm doing right now. But my camera, I actually, 
while I put all this in, um, I actually ran out of storage in my phone. So I spent like a good like 30, 45 minutes like clearing up storage from my phone. But, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, it's not a very large load of washing. It's really just everything I need for vacation, really. Okay, here we go. I probably should, considering it's 2.30 and the only thing I've had today is like half a cup of coffee. I should probably have something to eat, but I'm honestly not that hungry, so. And I want you to show me. Hi, Sasha. Uh oh. What's happening? Are you in a good mood? What's happening, Sasha? What's happening? It's very early. Uh oh. Stormy. Stormy. What are you doing? What is on your nose? <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is on your nose? Oh my goodness. These two are literally best friends. Look at you. All right, so sorry the lighting is not great right here, but it's all right. Um, so I've done some listings. I'm not gonna do too many today, uh, just because I have some other things I wanna get done today. But um, mainly I wanna show how I would put everything in its cellophane bags and get it ready to be put into the inventory system. So I'm gonna do that now. Basically, the only thing I need for that is my cellophane bags. I do have these linked in the description box below. Um, I have two different sizes that I use. I have a 12 by 15 and a 13 by 15. Both of those are linked below. Um, I normally do watch uh, like some YouTube or I kind of get caught up on some of my uh, other favorite resellers while I do this. But uh, otherwise, I also use a um, like a lint roller. Um, I double check everything. It's kind of my last check for flaws or if anything's wrong with it, if I possibly have missed something. If you ever buy lint rollers, always buy these ones. They're the Scotch-Brite uh, Pet Extra Sticky Lint Rollers. They are literally the best ones. I use them all the time. I probably go through like one roll a month, uh, which is kind of crazy, but we're gonna get uh, lint rolling, checking for flaws into cellophane bags and go from there. So I'm probably gonna do like a little bit of time-lapse because uh, this can take a while, although I don't really have very many to do. Normally I wait till I have like 25 items at least to do this, but for the sake of the video to show you kind of what I do, um, I don't necessarily do this every day, but I thought it would be interesting to show. Instead of giving me presents, you're not getting off that easily. Oh, when we get back on the same page, tonight we can stay. And why don't you talk to me? Talk to me. All right, so the items have all been packaged, they are nice and neatly in their cellophane bags. I actually don't have uh, nearly as many as I thought, but now it's time to get them all into the inventory system behind me. Kidoki, so it is currently for hi beans. He wants to come sit with me. Uh, this is beans, my little dog. Okay, so it is currently uh, exactly four o'clock. Everything has been put into the inventory system. Uh, I took a little bit of a break. Um, I didn't really want to like overexert myself too much today. I kind of just wanted to have like a chill reseller day, but. I do have four more things here in my basket that are ready to be listed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those four things listed so that I am for the most part like caught up on everything that's been photographed has been listed. So four more items, I can do it. I'm gonna do a little bit of a time lapse again. I feel like this video is like only time lapses, but whatever. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get those listed and I will check in when I'm done. All 
right, so it is pretty much, it is 10 minutes to five o'clock, so it's 4.50, and I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna be done for the day. Um, I did go onto my Poshmark and I did a little bit of the delete and relist feature using my Poshmark VA. Um, so that was fun. I did a couple of like relistings. I updated some listings. Um, but otherwise, um, everything that I have that is photographed and ready to list has been listed. Uh, things have been inventoried. So today's been a very busy day, been a very productive day. Um, the only thing I didn't really do today was photograph anything, but I'm not really worried. I don't really want to photograph anything because I need to clear up some space on my phone and then I'm going to be gone for uh, vacation for a little bit. So I don't want to like get everything photographed and then put into the basket only to just sit there for a while. So I might as well just leave it for now until I get back from my vacation. But otherwise, I really hope you like this video. I hope it was like a, re a, like a, a realistic kind of day of what I do like as a daily uh, thing. Like I hope it didn't like, like give you a, like a, a bad or like an overly good impression of what I do every day. A lot of it is really like going thrifting, which is not really every day, um, photographing, listing, putting things in inventory, shipping things out, uh, a lot of stuff like that. So, but otherwise, um, I really hope you like this video. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I just posted a room tour of this lovely room that I have here. Um, I will link that one of the top corners as well is in the description box below. But otherwise, I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.